Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Team, keep it clean. What is going on? Us as Ravens fans, ooh, this ain't been a good start to the month. It wasn't a good ending to the month. So we're losing to the Chiefs, losing Mike McDonald, and we had another loss too. The, the, the hits just keep on coming for the Baltimore Ravens because somebody who a lot of people thought would end up stepping up into that role as defensive coordinator uh, in Mike McDonald's place since he's gone on to coach the Seahawks. And we all we saw all the videos of him joining the Seahawks, the whole staff in the building clapping and stuff, and Mike McDonald, he waving and smiling and all that. I'm like, man, that could have been us. Man. But anyway, um, Denard Wilson, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, their DB, secondary cornerbacks coach, uh, he is going to be coaching the Tennessee Titans. He's going to be their defensive coordinator now. So um, I guess they they just love everything that they saw from the AFC North because they took Bengals' offensive coordinator, made him their head coach. They take in Ravens' secondary coach, uh, making him their defensive coordinator. So that they just love the AFC North. But the Baltimore Ravens, they end up losing another one. But there's something else to think about with – Mike McDonald leaving with uh, Denard Wilson leaving. And congratulations to both of them. Obviously, we hope that they have a lot of success and they continue to grow in their roles. But it can get a little bit worse for the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm going to explain that to you in a little bit. But first and foremost, before we get into it, uh, I appreciate y'all. I know a lot of people right now, they do not want to watch anything to do with the Baltimore Ravens. They don't want to consume any Baltimore Ravens content, but I appreciate y'all for sticking it out with us. We're going to get through this thing one way or another. One way or another. Whatever the Ravens end up doing, hey, we still going to bring y'all that news and talk about it and break it all down. So I know whether some people like it or not, we still are going to be here. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know it's rough right now. I know things are tough. As a Baltimore Ravens fans, we're going through it. Going through it big time, but we're going to get through it. Uh, but anyway, subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss any of these updates that I know y'all don't want to hear about. And also, leave a like on the video because y'all be coming through and helping out the channel a lot. It, it goes a long way. Trust me, it really, really does. So, um, Mike McDonald, he left. He is officially the head coach of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Denard Wilson, somebody who could possibly step up in his place, he left. He is the defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. But that could there could be a trickle down effect because as you know, when a coach leaves, when a coach leaves a team, a lot of times what they'll do, they'll be like, "Hey, oh, oh I'll, I'll work with you at our previous team. Come through, come, come, come with me. Let let me give you a promotion. Let me put you on too, because you worked so well with me at our previous uh, place at our previous regime." I like your work. I know what you can do. I see your potential. Oh, I'm coming up. You coming up with me as well. It happens all the time. It happens in life, uh, but it also happens in the NFL. As we know, hashtag hood hardball. You know them hardballs. They put on all their people, uh, but a lot of coaches do as well. But anyway, with Mike McDonald, um, and this came from somebody in, in Seattle who covers the Seahawks. He said that he's been hearing that um, with Mike McDonald, uh, some names for his offensive coordinator position. One could be T. Martin, and for his defensive coordinator position, another could be Zachary Orr, and that would certainly be something because, though again, Zachary Orr especially, he's somebody, I know Jeff Zrebic mentioned it too, he's somebody that could be a candidate to be the defensive coordinator with the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, he's been with the Baltimore Ravens through everything, and that would be another homegrown talent. Uh, he's somebody that obviously clicks with the players. He was a player. He was a good player too. Um, with Zachary Orr, the Baltimore Ravens, he, he was a Baltimore Raven. He played, but unfortunately he had that neck injury. And I forget exactly how they found out that he had a neck injury that ended his career. But I do remember that it was probably like the best way that they could possibly find out. Because I believe he was like, I think he was like inactive for a game. I don't remember the story exactly how it went. But he was like inactive for a game or something. And then he was going to get a checkup. Or and then they found it. And then it, 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 was, it was just a good thing that they found it off the field than on the field. Because that could have been a, a whole lot worse. So it, it's, it's nice. It, it's not nice that it happened. But it's nice the way that they found out about his career ending neck injury. Uh, but anyway, with him, he's been with the Ravens uh, as a player, and then they brought him on as a coach, 
and he just be, he just been working, working, working. Uh, last year he coached uh, the inside linebacker unit, so we'll see. So he could either get promoted with Mike McDonald and the Seahawks, or he could get promoted with the Baltimore Ravens. So we'll see because with Mike McDonald, he's the official coach of the Seattle Seahawks now, but he's going to want to be getting his staff together ASAP. He's going to want to have knock all that out so he can have that ready and they can move forward because you got free free agency is here. You might want to resign some of your own players. You might get rid of some of your own players, but free agency is going to be here before you know it. And then the draft is going to be here before you know it. So you're going to want to have your coaching staff in place uh, as early as you possibly can so you can start implementing everything into implementing your scheme, your style, setting the standard, all that good stuff. So whatever Mike McDonald is going to do, we're going to know very, very, very soon. So I would assume, I would have to assume that he's going to be taking some people from the Baltimore Ravens coaching staff along with him. Who that may be? Will it be a team on? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised at all. Will it be a Zach or wouldn't be surprised. Another name that has been floating around with the Baltimore Ravens uh, when it's come to a possible defensive coordinator position has been Anthony Weaver. Anthony Weaver, again, he's another person who played for the Ravens. Then he went through everything and then did, did some coaching over there with the Texans and came back, did some coaching with the Ravens. And now he's, he's up to possibly be a defensive coordinator with the Ravens or he could go down the street to D.C. and go coach with the Commanders because they haven't filled their head coaching spot yet. That's still wide open and there's one coaching that's the last open coaching spot left i believe uh and he's a candidate he's a candidate so we'll see <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens with that um but he's somebody that could be in the mix as well so but think about this this is really possible for the baltimore ravens that and of course you still got some more people in the building but all those guys that we just mentioned they could all be gone Every last one of them could be gone. Every last one. Mike McDonald, he's gone. He could take T. Martin. He could take Zachary Orr. Anthony Weaver could go, um, go coach the Washington Commanders. Denard Wilson, he's, he's gone. He's gone with the Titans. So that's like a lot of people on your staff that are out of that. Again, this is why so many of us, and again, by the way the season, by the way the season was going, it seemed like it was going that way, but this is why so many of us were like, hey, Ravens got to do it this year. They got to get it done this year. Not to say that they won't have a chance in any other year, because that, that, that's one thing that I, I do not like hearing, and I, I disagree with it completely. Some people say, they like, hey, this was Ravens' only chance to get to the Super Bowl. It's not, it, it, and it wasn't. Ray Ravens will still have a chance to get to the Super Bowl. They have a chance every year, especially if you got Lamar at quarterback. You're always going to have a chance against anybody. But the way that things were set up this year, it was right there for the taking. It was right there for the taking. And the way that the Ravens were this year, it seemed like they, they were taking all the opportunity. They were taking advantage of every situation put in front of them. But then it came to the Chiefs, and they said, you know what? Everything that's worked – Get it out of here. Throw it out the window. We ain't doing that. Why don't we do stuff that works? What's the point? So it is what it is. But anyway, that that, that trickle down effect. Um, it could definitely impact the Baltimore Ravens big time. So this is something that we know uh and we will know more of in the next couple of days, really. Because again, Mike McDonald, now he's official, he's gonna start bringing his staff. We actually, you know what? Today's Monday. I'm, I'm tripping. See, they, um, <laughs> I'm tripping. Ra Ravens got my head all messed up, man. Today's Thursday. I, I said today's Monday. Today's Thursday. So, with Mike McDonald, he, we may get announcements, like, sooner than later. Like, maybe even by today or tomorrow about his staff, guys that he may be bringing on. Def at the latest by next week. At the, at the very latest by next week. But they could start doing that. Right now, because again, usually new head coaches, they want to get on that quick. They want to start building their staff up and whatnot. So they have a clear direction of where their team is going to be going and what they're going to be doing on offense, defense, special teams and, and everything else, of course. But we'll see how it goes, man. Um, there's been a lot of interesting conversations when it's come to a Mike McDonald. I know one of my guys today is talking to him on Twitter and he said that he felt like uh, Ravens flock were overrating Mike McDonald. And I said, ooh, 
no, 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 no. Overrated, no, not Mike, no. The guy who had a really good defense last year and a historically great defense this year. Historically great defense this year, especially in this day and age of football where everything is about offense, all the rules, everything is about benefiting the offense, getting more points. The fact that this guy, that his team, his defense led the league in sacks, uh, led the league in, in points per game, and they stepped up in the biggest moments, overrating that. I said, no, no, we not overrating him. But what I did appreciate about my guy who said that is that we, we, we had some nice back and forth, and, and there was no disrespect at all. There was, and, and I always appreciate that. That is my favorite thing about having conversations with people, that if, if you say something, I say something, and we don't agree, we got different viewpoints on it, we can still maintain the respect. We can still, there's still all love, and that's exactly what it was today. And those are my favorite conversations to have with anybody. When people want to get disrespectful and all that, it ain't a conversation no more. Ain't nothing left to be said. Nothing left to be said. But if people can, we can go back and forth. I share what I got to say. I listen to you, see what you got to say. Oh, okay, well, I never thought about it like that. Oh, okay, well, I ain't think about it. Well, okay, well, I disagree with that, but I still respect you. That's what it's about at the beginning and the end of the day. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. I know things are rough right now, team. Keep it clean. But it's all good, team. Keep it clean. I'll see y'all real soon.